If you guys have been watching this channel for a while, there's a lot of things you know about new brothels, but there's also a lot of things you may or may not know. So I put this list of 20 facts, 20 things together you may or may not know about new brothels. So as you're watching today's video, let me know in the comment section below, hey, did you already know this stuff? or is it new to you? And if you are new to this channel, you're gonna learn a new thing today. And if you stick with us, you're gonna learn a lot more about what it's like to live in New Braunfels. Okay, let's start with number 20. We're not New York City. We know that, you know that, but our landmark building here in New Braunfels is just as important to our skyline as the Empire State Building is to New York. Did you know that the landmark Lofts Building is the tallest building in New Braunfels? It towers 120 feet. The landmark lofts used to be the largest power plant west of the Mississippi River. Today, it's a mixed use residential community and the tallest building in New Braunfels. Now, the 19th thing you may or may not know about New Braunfels, and likely if you've never been here before, you're not gonna know this. When you get here, you're gonna be surprised. We have a lot, a lot of deer in New Braunfels and the deer here are not hiding folks they don't have any natural predators so they're out and about everywhere in the wide open spaces here at Landa Park where we host so many of our videos you can see them often behind me right in front of your front yard and when I head to the gym early in the morning got to be careful got to be more cautious because deer are out and about so more deer here a lot of deer here in New Braunfels the 18th thing you may or may not know about New Braunfels is that what gives us our charm here, our uniqueness, that Hallmark Channel feeling, the vibes there, is our well-preserved downtown area, as well as our historic district of green. Our older buildings, our traffic circle, our main plaza, that bandstand there, our hyper-local businesses, mom and pop shops. But did you guys know that this is all by design? Some of you comment on this channel that, hey, you want to see more corporate, trendy franchise places downtown or near downtown? Guys, listen, don't hold your breath. The city's not going to do that. The city is hyper-focused on keeping downtown New Braunfels and Green, our historic district of Green, hyper-local and directing all corporate and franchise places out in the direction of Creekside, about three miles from downtown New Braunfels, where you're going to find a lot of our big box stores and specialty shops. Personally, I love the city keeping that bubble over downtown New Braunfels and our historic district of Green because it just maintains our local flavor, which is uniquely New Braunfels. You probably know that we have two popular recreational rivers here in New Braunfels, but did you know this, guys? The Comel River is actually the shortest river in all of Texas. It runs only two and a half miles long, all within the city limits. It takes about two and a half, three hours to tube, to float, and its water temperature is 72 degrees year round, and it's got the super cool tube chute, one of my favorites. The 16th thing you guys may or may not know about New Braunfels, and if you know this, I I'm gonna be super impressed. Did you know that New Braunfels hosts the gourd festival? You know, gourds, a gourd is, is fruit actually, not a popular menu item, but historically gourds have been used to make art. The festival includes carving, painting, and wood burning gourds. Did you know? The 15th thing you may or may not know about New Braunfels is there is no green Texas. I mean, there is green is there, it, it's here. But did you know that Green is not its own city? So many people get that confused. It's a historic district within the town of New Braunfels. It was once its own town, but New Braunfels eventually took it over. Did you know that? The 14th thing you may or may not know about New Braunfels, and this is a hot topic with many of you when we talk about growth, but did you know that our population in New Braunfels in 2000 was 36,000 people? And did you know today, it's at or just past 100,000 people? Did you know? In New Braunfels, unicorns do exist here, at least in the form of a high school mascot. Did you know that New Braunfels High School has had the unicorn mascot since 1928? That's when they decided to honor the unicorn from the family crest of Prince Carl of Solms Braunfels. Little did they know though that the crest featured a lion and not a unicorn, but the high school decided to stick with what they had. The 12th thing that you may or may not know is that New Braunfels has the oldest hardware store in the state of Texas. 
Henny Hardware has been running in New Braunfels for 165 years. It started off as a place that made or repaired things made from tin. Henny Hardware was started by Johann Henny shortly after he landed in New Braunfels in 1845. Henny paid $120 for the land where the hardware store still stands today. Speaking of old, do you know two of the oldest standing structures in New Braunfels? It's actually a tie for first. The Johann George Pfeiffer House in downtown New Braunfels is registered circa 1846, so a year after New Braunfels was founded. It's now a office building, two-story structure with eight-foot ceilings, started as a home. And here's what's really interesting about this. Johan laid black walnut out of one foot wide by 20 foot long planks and building that black walnut staircase all the way up to the second floor. The other structure is also circa 1846, also in downtown New Braunfels. It's now a business today. It's called Fickle Pickle. This rock filled home was built by one of the first commissioners of Comal County. The 10th thing that you may or may not know about New Braunfels is that Green Hall is actually the oldest running dance hall in all of Texas. Green Hall was built in 1878 and continued to run through Prohibition. Back then, Green Hall acted as a dance hall, a community center hosting high school graduation, and it was rumored that Green Hall hosted badger fights. Today, of course, Green Hall is known for its live music hosting some of the biggest names in country music, nationally and locally. And did you know that a scene from the movie Michael starring John Travolta was filmed in Green Hall? Of course, for the movie, Green Hall was called Joey's. Did you know? Oldest dance hall in Texas, oldest hardware store in Texas. And did you know that New Braunfels has the oldest running bakery in Texas? Naglin's Bakery was founded in 1868 by the Naglin family and sold to the Granzine family over 100 years later. So Naglin's, you think about it, has only had two different families serving sweets and treats to locals and tourists for 154 years. And that's just amazing by itself. The eighth thing you may or may not know about New Braunfels, I'm gonna say you probably don't know this about New Braunfels, is that we use bees to make beer. The Guadalupe Brewing Company in New Braunfels is known for its Texas honey ale made from honey produced by Texas bees. Did you know? We have a lot of water here in New Braunfels, but did you guys know that New Braunfels has the largest underground fresh spring water basin in all of Texas? Did you know that? It's called the Edwards Aquifer, and that aquifer supplies New Braunfels with 20% of our water and Canyon Lake supplies us with just over 30%. Did you know? The sixth thing you may or may not know about New Braunfels is that we have a museum dedicated to furniture. The Museum of Texas Handmade Furniture features one of the largest collections of Central European style furniture crafted by early German settlers to New Braunfels. We have some pretty remarkable, pretty amazing homes here in New Braunfels, both large and small. But did you know this? Did you know that almost none of these homes, I'm gonna say none of the homes I've ever seen have basements. Big reason, especially west of Interstate 35, our ground is bedrock, it's limestone. And that's very difficult and very costly to dig up. Another reason east of Interstate 35, stretching all the way to Dallas, is that the soil beneath that clay is soft. And since that water table is close to the surface, it can cause flooding, leaks, and shifting. The fourth thing you may or may not know is what the word Braunfels means in New Braunfels. The word Braunfels in German means brown rock. Did you know? Do you know how New Braunfels got its name? Well, New Braunfels was founded by this guy, by Prince Karl Solms of Braunfels, Germany. So the German prince simply named the city after his hometown. The second thing you may or may not know about New Braunfels, if you've been to Green, you may have eaten at the Grismill restaurant. But what you may not know is that this rustic postcard looking place along the river was once the center of industry. The Grismill was built in the shell of the old cotton gin. 
the number one thing you may or may not know about New Braunfels, and I know there's some of you out there do not know this. And how do I know? Because every time I hear it or see it spelled from you, I cringe or I laugh. Did you know that there is only one S in New Braunfels? You'll find it right at the end. There's not one in the middle. Spell it with me, my friends. So it is not new bronze fells. We're not in the Olympics. We're not getting bronze medals here. It's new bronze fells. There you go. 20 things, 20 facts you may or may not have known about New Braunfels. How did you guys do as you were watching this video? Did you already know a lot of this stuff? Did you learn something new? Hey, listen, if you want to learn new things about the city founded by a German prince, just keep it here on our channel. Every single week we have new content. And if you're thinking about moving here to New Braunfels and exercising all of this knowledge now, I would love to be your real estate resource of choice. You guys know the drill. You can email me, you can call me or you can shoot me a text. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching our videos and we'll see you on the next one.